This video is proudly recorded and produced on OpenBSD. Let's install LAMP server on OpenBSD. Since we are not going to use Linux and we are going to use OpenBSD, so we can actually change it to OAMP, OpenBSD, Apache, MySQL, slash MariaDB, and PHP. So what I have done is that I actually installed a fresh OpenBSD on VMM. So this is running in the virtualization. And then we are going to install LAMP. And then also at the end of it, we are going to throw a WordPress website at it to see how it performs and whether it works. And we have all the functionalities covered. Note that this is just a sample video it's mainly suitable if you are using it uh, to set up your own uh, local environment and i don't necessarily recommend you to follow this guideline to have a wordpress website running on production so the first thing that we have to do is to install apache uh, server apache uh, http server so for that one http d and then afterwards we have to start and enable the apache daemon similar to what you do with the system d all right now apache is installed what we have to do is to enable it so do as rcctl enable apache 2 and do as rcctl start apache 2 now to test whether apache is working or no this is the ip address of my virtual machine and as you can see it says it works so apache actually stores the file under cd slash var www docs and here we can actually try to edit the file here so it works on my machine and if you refresh it you can see it takes effect so the next step is to install a MySQL slash MariaDB. OpenBSD doesn't have MySQL, it replaced it with the MariaDB. So we are going to refer to the MariaDB as MySQL, doesn't matter. In this case, many stuff, many commands also, you can just type uh, MySQL, but uh, behind the scene it points to the MariaDB. So we install the MariaDB server and the client so we can actually uh, use the MariaDB client to create a user and do some operation that is needed before setting up the WordPress website. All right, now what we have to do is to actually start the MariaDB. It's similar to the starting the Apache using RCCTL, enable MySQL D, and do as RCCTL start mysql d and now we have to actually uh, install the uh, run an installation script so a slash do as a slash user local bean mariadb install db so it's going to create the system tables and what we can do now is to secure the, uh, the database so mysql secure installation so mysql secure installation let's throw a do as at the beginning and so it says okay what's the current password by default root doesn't have any password so it says it cannot connect to it so do as rcctl start mysql d let's see what happens do as rcctl restarts mysql d all right it looks okay let's let's run the script again okay so now it's working so do we want to switch to the sockets it says that uh, we don't need necessary no okay i don't want to change the password for root in case that you want you can do so this is just for my local development that's why i'm not going to change much of this stuff remove the tests reload the tables so if we do mysql dash root and no password we can actually access to the database now fantastic the next step is to install the uh, p 
PHP. So for that one, PHP, and it's going to ask us for the version that we are going to install. So we are going to install the latest version. Uh, keep in mind about the selection of the version because uh, we have to add a couple more packages related to the uh, Apache and also MySQL and those versions need to match with your PHP version. So now what we can do, we can enable PHP 83 FPM and we are going to start that as well. Okay. So the next one is to actually add the PHP Apache package so we can serve the PHP files on the Apache. We yet have to do a couple of additional configurations. It's not just as simple as just installing the packages. So MySQL I, this one, PHP and MySQL module. Again, we have to make sure that the versions matches. And now we have to create two symlinks. So one is for the uh, enabling the PHP on uh, Apache. So modules that sample PHP conf slash war www conf modules and PHP dot conf. So we are going to create this symlink. And the next one is for the uh, MySQL. So ln dash sf slash etc php 83 this version might, may, might be different in yours sample mysql ini and the slash etc php 8.3 all right so what we have to do now is to restart apache and i also recommend you to restart fpm just in case is not necessary but we have to what better we do it to avoid just running into the weird problems and do unnecessary troubleshooting all right so what we have to do now is to install wordpress so for that one let's grab it okay so now it's downloading the wordpress Okay, let's actually uncompress it. And we have the WordPress directory here. So at this point, we have two steps. One approach is to just copy the whole directory to a slash var www ht docs. Another approach is actually to create the same link and store this WordPress somewhere else. So I, for this example, I'm going to just like move the WordPress to my own home directory and serve it from there. And instead, I'm going to create the same link to the uh, Apache directory. So you see docs and I create the same link here. So if I go to here and I do lsslrt, you can see that the WordPress is linked to the WordPress that is in my home directory. So now we have to actually modify a bit of the ownership here. So we are going to say do as, or not necessarily even that, dash r. So we are going to add the uh, make the owner uh, of the WordPress directory the Apache one. So, okay, we need to as actually. So, we do that. And another ch, uh, ch mod actually now. 755 slash this WordPress. So, we did that. Let's create a upload, upload directory as well. So, this one content uploads and now we are going to actually also change the ownership to the Apache group content uploads all right so now we have things set up so if we open the Apache and then we go to the WordPress it should show the WordPress for us. All right, fantastic. 
So now it asks us to to know about the database credentials. So what we have to do as a next step is to create a separate database and also a separate user for our WordPress installation. So we have to go to MySQL and we are going to first create a database. I'm going to name it WordPress DB and we are going to create a user localhost and here identified by now here we need to pass the password for this example I'm going to pass password as password but never do that in your production environment and now we are going to grant the access to any tables on the WordPress database to this user that we just created and then we need to pass the password again let's flush the privileges and we exit from that now let's try see whether we can actually access with that user and if we do show databases it's just only access to the wordpress db fantastic now we set up also our database so let's move forward with the wordpress setup here so what's the name of the database so is the wordpress wordpress db and the user was for the wp underscore user password was wordpress password was password sorry password was password submit install and okay so what will be the name of the website so i set it to open bsd guy this one and then this one password open bsd confirm yes and then pass the email discourage from search engines so now we should have the installation done and if we try to log into the wordpress admin site we see that okay it's working so now i have actually en enabled the dark extension let me actually disable this so we see better all right so now it looks better so if we go to the website itself it loads and let's try to install just a plugin to make sure that the plugin installation also works because sometimes it would be like uh, weird okay so activate install this one and okay it's getting installed and let's try to activate it great so we are going as a last step of our testing to just write the post here hello word from the openbsc guy okay hi there my name is the openbsc guy i don't know why did i put the exclamation mark that's lame and let's also upload the picture or something in case to just make sure that the upload part, part works okay so this one we have a problem with the size it's too large let's upload this one and publish now if we go to the website again it should render it correctly does it work moment of the truth probably it's a different section yeah okay it's a different section fantastic so now we have actually the post showing up here as well that's all for this video i hope you have enjoyed it have a great time cheers i want to thank all of the amazing patreon and coffee supporters your generosity and support means the world to me and keeps me really motivated to continue creating content Thanks again for your generosity and contribution.